Here we have an Asus laptop that came in for no power. We already disassembled the board. The first thing I want to do is check power MOSFETs and see if we have a short. We have one power MOSFET on front of the board and we have one on back of the board. I'm interested in the one on back of the board. So let's take a look. We're going to measure in diode mode. And I just want to see if we have a short. And we do. We have a short here. I'm going over this one quick because I have done a lot of similar boards. Let's inject voltage at the shorted area of the MOSFET and we're going to monitor the board under a thermal camera to see what is getting hot. That's what we do when we have a short. We inject voltage at the shorted area and we inspect the board under a thermal cam. Right now, what am I expecting to see under the thermal cam? Usually a shorted capacitor or a heat spot at the CPU. So let's switch over to the thermal cam and let's inject voltage at the shorted area of the MOSFET and see what happens. One, two, three. And the voltage injection tool is drawing 1.7 amps at one volt. And look at the second square on the left. It got hot, but it got hot from front of the board. We are seeing a diffused heat spot here on back of the board. So what we need to do is inject voltage and flip the board so we can look at the board, front of the board under the thermal cam. And let's see how we're going to do this. I'm holding the thermal cam like this. I'm injecting voltage and I'm looking at the screen. So right now we need to be creative. We need to flip the board and then inject voltage like this and monitor the board under the thermal cam. You need at least three hands for this, at least. So let's see if I can do it. Right now I know where that MOSFET is, so I can point the probe at it and yes. Okay, so what is getting hot? So right now we see that the GPU is getting hot and not the CPU, the GPU. And we have a heat spot on the top also that I'm interested in, probably a MOSFET right over here, this one. Let's look at it one more time. All right, let's wait until it warms up a bit. All right, thermal camera on the side. And I'm pointing my finger at that component. It's the second MOSFET from the left. Let's take a look. Now that may or may not be the problem. But we did see the GPU get hot. This one here. And this second MOSFET on the side of the board. It could be that the MOSFET is the problem. And that's why the CPU or the GPU is getting hot. Let's do a quick measurement on those MOSFETs. We're going to measure pin number one. And usually on those MOSFETs, we should get something around 9K, sometimes 8K, 10K, 11K, somewhere in that range. So if we measure pin number one of the first MOSFET, we get 9.9K, perfect. And this is the one that got hot. We should get the same reading on pin number one, 9.9K, but rather we are getting 11 ohms and not 11K. That's definitely bad. Look at this. We are reading 11 ohms instead of 9K or 9,000 ohms. Let's measure MOSFET number three. We have 10K. Let's measure this one. We have 9.9K. And if we measure this one, 
10k. So it's obvious that our second MOSFET is the problem. If we measure this one, we get 10k. And if we measure this one, we get right, uh, 26k, 28k, uh, 29k. Now we are looking at 30k. And finally, this one here, 29k. So we know that we have a problem with one MOSFET, and that's the second one. And that's what the thermal camera showed us. It showed us a tiny heat spot on that MOSFET. And that's why I assume that that MOSFET is bad. So let's go ahead and replace the MOSFET and see what happens. Right there, this one. MOSFET is out. And that thermal pad absorbed 500 degrees Celsius without any issues. Right now, before we do anything, let's measure to see if we still have a short. We're going to measure the same MOSFET that was testing for a short. Which is on back of the board, right here. And let's see, do we still have a short? Meter in diode mode. And short is gone. The short is gone. Now we have 0 0.33 voltage drop. Awesome. We're going to replace the MOSFET. And we should be good. As long as the GPU itself is not fried. Let's go ahead and prep the pads. So we can solder a new MOSFET. We did confirm that our short is gone. No more short. And we are now reading a voltage drop of 0 0.33, which is perfect. So this MOSFET is what was causing the problem. All right, so that should be enough. And let's solder our new MOSFET which is this one right over here. We're going to reassemble and test, and I'll be back. We reassembled the board, and all we have to do is test. And see if the laptop will power on. And no power. Let me make sure the charger is plugged in. And the charger is plugged in. Totally dead. Let me test the charger to make sure that it's supplying 19 volts. Maybe it's in protection mode because of the short. And the charger is supplying 0 0.4 volts. So the charger is in protection mode because of the previous short. 
we need to unplug and wait 30 seconds and then plug the charger back in. Okay, I plugged it back in. Let's measure. And yes, we have 19.8 volts. Now let's try it. I mean, the first thing I want to see is a light. And I do see a light right here. A white LED. That's a good indication that the laptop is going to power on. Yes. Look at that. Let's wait. Right there. <laughs> Laptop is fixed. Awesome. Ta da! Great. That's it. Laptop is fixed. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video. Mm -hmm.